<laughs> Hello everyone, I'm Lisa Wind. I've just blown in. And we are back for more Dragon Age Origins today. Last time, if you recall, we had a little chat with Morgan in which she mentioned she wanted a book, a very special book. A book that, dare I say, I might already be in possession of. That's right, folks. It is time to give Morgan something she wants. As soon as I can find an inventory. I'm going to give her, as soon as I scroll around her in the turn order, the Black Grimoire. What? You found Flemeth's yep. Grimoire? But when I spoke of it to you, I did not truly hope... Hey! That's this awesome! This is a most fortuitous event. It is. You have my thanks. I You're will welcome. begin study of the tome immediately. You're welcome. What do you hope to find within it? Secrets. My mother has many of them, and this time you represents know? the one time that like they were able to get away from Like where you got purple eyeshadow from? from? I do not intend to squander this opportunity to learn more than Flemeth wished me to know. This should be interesting. It will be. You're welcome. Less nine. Quest updated. I'm happy I made her happy. It's not every day I get to do that for Morgan. I await your command. Haha, <laughs> we'll see how long that lasts. So life in the wilds must have been very lonely. At times, perhaps. Aww. A world full of people and buildings and things was all very foreign to me. Understandable. If I wished companionship, I ran with the wolves and flew with the birds. That if sounds spoke, awesome. It was to the trees. Did any of them talk back? Oh, it's actually one of the options. That sounds wonderful. For a time. But one can only remain a child for so long. Mm, true. I recall the first time I crept beyond the edge of the wilds. Really? I did so in animal form. Of course. Remaining in the shadows and like watching these strange townsfolk from afar. I happened upon a noblewoman by her carriage, adorned in sparkling garments, the yeah. likes of which Fancy. I had never before seen. I was dazzled. This, to me, seemed what true wealth and beauty must be. <coughs> behind her and stole a hand mirror from the carriage. It was encrusted in gold and crystalline gemstones and I hugged it to my chest with delight as I sped back to the wilds. What happened then? Flemeth was furious with me. <laughs> Understandable. I was a child and had not yet come into my full power and Aww. I had risked discovery for the sake of a pretty bauble. Aww. To teach me a lesson, Flemeth took the mirror and smashed Aww. it on the ground. I was heartbroken. Hey, as someone that also likes to, you know, occasionally, yeah, liberate items, it was uncalled for. But you were just a child. And a foolish one. Aww. Flemeth was right to break me of my fascination. Beauty really? and love are fleeting and have no meaning. Uh, I disagree. Has meaning. Power has meaning. Also Without true. Without those lessons, I would not be here today, as difficult as they might have been. They made you stronger, didn't they? They did indeed. Aw, she's to smiling! To the original question, perhaps my time in the wilds was indeed lonely. Aww. But such was how it had to be. And now you're not alone. I find myself at times wondering what might have become of the girl with the beautiful golden mirror. But such fantasies have no place amidst reality. Eh, true. Aw. She approves. And we're saving. Anytime you want to go away, plus nine. Yes, we are racking up the approval. She is warm to us. That that came out wrong. I await your command. Yes, you do. Uh, I'd like to ask you something. So, full of questions, are you? <laughs> uh, no, I'm not asking her that. Never mind. Let's try I wait one more time. Your command. Let me ask you something personal. We are in camp, so tis as good a time as any. Uh, no, I'm not asking her that. She would hurt me. Cool. Love you. Moving on. Moving right along. Da -da -da -da. Going to go sell some stuff. Hey, you. You and your friends are formidable folks. We are. Indeed. It's good to have you along on the road. Aw, thank you. Persuade. So what's your story exactly? Hmm. 
I suppose since you told me about you being a grey warden. Yeah. It's only Elster fitting for there. me to be as open. I'm yep. originally from Orzammar, just as you are, I suspect. Aww. You don't have the look of a surface dwarf about you. <laughs> no. I was a merchant there, Princess. too. Merchant caste. These things I are in the blood, it. you know. You can't know. just leave them behind. Exactly. They ran a fairly successful business. Aww, Rare cool. artifacts, you know. Old things, grand things. The nobles loved them. Reminded them of the lost glory days, I suppose. Exactly. Our glory isn't lost. Well, you can think that if you wish. If I will. Gives you comfort, but some of us prefer to look at things as they hey. are and see the truth. But we were talking about how I ended up here. Well, we? yeah, yes. One day, a noble woman came to my store. She looked around for a bit and then started shrieking in dismay. Oh, what did you do? She believed that a pair of braces I had for sale once belonged to her brother. Uh -huh. He'd been lost in a cave-in, you see, while on an expedition to clear out the dark spawn from one of the tunnels running close to the city. They were made specially for him. They're unique, she shrieked. Uh -huh. He stole them from my poor brother's corpse. Oh, she had the stole. That's a strong corpse. word. No balls. I mean, if it's already a corpse. And, hey, uh, as a noble in exile, shut up. We are not. You know, <laughs> I used to be a noble. And now you're up here, on the surface. Touché. My brother betrayed me and had me exiled. Then you know whereof I speak, don't you? Well, I didn't steal them. You see, I, I've been paying these castless thugs to venture uh -huh. out into the deep roads for me. The lost tides. They're full of things that people left behind. Sometimes you can find a treasure. Something worth a little gold. Uh -huh. You know what? Given Ulrika and what she believes in, better do something with them than leave them to rot. That's exactly how I see it. I the know, noble right? woman, she wasn't too happy with the theft <laughs> of her I brother's braces. I don't know what they planned for me, and I didn't want to find out. Good boy. Bribed the guard that was watching me and took off for the surface. I wish I could have bribed my guard. Never look back. Fascinating story. Thank you. You're quite welcome. Now, is there anything the boy or I can get you? Yes. But where do these goods come from? Not the deep roads. Look, we, we don't rob people. All right? We don't take things from people that need them. I know, things me too. Things in the lost tides. What good did they do lying there? I brought them back to Orzammar, where people could look at them and remember. And use them. It's not all that different up here. There are places uh, long abandoned by the humans everywhere. Even Big more difference. Now, Those tides coming. have been dead for centuries. What do you mean? People flee from the blight with good reason, but they forget things. Things No, they don't have room to take them. They leave them behind because they're frightened and desperate. And sometimes, my boy and I, we find our way to these places before the horde descends, and we save these things. I take them away so Oh, shit, how much hot stuff am I going to end up wearing? Is that so bad? They destroy everything they touch. Yeah, true. I suppose it's better than having the dark spawn take it all. That's what I tell myself, too. Uh huh. Ah, That's how you sleep at night. These are dark gotcha. times, indeed. Dark times, my friend. Darkest verse. Darkest verse. You didn't mention your son in your tale. Ah, yes. I'm married to a fine woman back in Denerim, it's Aww. true. She'd give me a son if she could, but uh, that's not likely to ever be. Aww. Sandal here. That's I found sad. him in the deep roads years ago. Really? Abandoned, I think. And he was never quite right in the head. Mm -hmm. I took him in, and I brought him with me when I came here to the surface. It may not be my blood, true, but I think of him as one. We left Orzammar. Mm -hmm. That's right, boy. Maybe one day we'll see it again. Blood isn't all that important. That's how I've always felt. As long as he's happy, so am I. Aww. It's not as if I don't benefit, mind you. Turns out <laughs> the boy's a natural yeah. working with enchantments. He might have even been Lyria Maddled. I never thought of that before, to be honest. Happens really? sometimes. He can work an enchantment into just about anything, however, really? given some time. Could cool. probably open his own shop, if he knew how. Enchantment. Oh, he will. <laughs> well, he does seem to enjoy it, at least. Have you heard any rumors? The 
dark spawn have attacked Lothering. I don't think everyone even had fled by the time they came either. No. Word has it they swarmed the entire area, making off with prisoners and burning down the buildings. And then they were gone. Just as quick. I wonder mm. if there's anyone left. I heard some chanters were going to head down south. Maybe to try to find some survivors. Mm. I'm not holding out hope myself. Yeah. That's what I've heard on the road, anyhow. Take it for what it is. Will do. Let me see yours. I'm sure you'll be pleased. I want to get some of some stuff in my inventory. And with your discount. Yes, my discount. I have a discount. Yes. You can have that staff. You can have these staffs. You can have this staff. Ugh, space. I have missed space. You can have those. Yeah, you can have that. I actually need to check that on Morgan, see if it works for her. I need to actually check people for armor before I sell. Yeah, this is pretty good. Let's see, what else can I get rid of? I really need to check against my character to see what she can equip now. Yeah, I'm gonna hold on to the rest for now. Do I got anything else I can get rid of? There we go. Let's see. Yeah, I pretty much know exactly where I'm jumping to. The bottom of the list. Oh, you're seven. Although I do have six gold now. I could go buy that other backpack in the circle. Hmm. Well, I guess that's all I can do with you for right now. Let's go continue talking to my friends. Hey, Allie. Sup. Something on your mind? Always. Oh, one, thank you. Has anyone told you how handsome you are? Not unless they were asking me for a favor. Oh. Well, there was that one time in Denerim, but those women were <laughs> not like you. Not like why? me. That's why lashes. Is this your way of telling me you think I'm handsome? Well, I mean. And if it is, what then? Oh, nothing much. I just get to grin a bit and look foolish for a while. Aw. He approves. Go figure. Yes. Love me. Actually, let's continue talking. At your service. Yes, you are. Uh, I have some questions. Of course. What changes about you after the joining? You mean other than becoming a Grey Warden? Yeah. I mean, what changes physically? Hmm. You know, I asked Duncan this too. Yeah. And all I got was, you'll see. Oh. He wouldn't tell you. Oh, it's not that Duncan wants to keep it a secret. It's just that the great oh, that's debatable. Don't discuss it much. <laughs> I gather it's not a pleasant topic. The first change I noticed Go on. was an increase in appetite. Here where there wasn't here before? In the middle of the night and raid the castle oh. larder. I thought I was starving. I'd slurp down every dinner like it was my last. Mm. And my face all covered in gravy. <laughs> I want to see I'd that. Up, the other Can't art people. I must, I must look later. Then laugh themselves to tears. Mm -hmm. I hadn't felt anything like that. Really? Because I was watching you wolf down food the other day. Hey! And I thought, well, at least he was watching. a lot of exercise. What can I say? I'm a growing girl. I'll say. Uh-huh. Uh, I didn't mean it like <laughs> yes, that. Yes, you did. Uh, um, no, don't hit me. <laughs> oh, it's meant it that way. Oh, and then there were the nightmares. <laughs> yeah, we, we've Duncan had those, haven't we? said it was part of how we sense the darkspawn. We tap into their... Well, I don't know what you'd call it. Their... Group Hive mind. mind, yes. Go on. And when we sleep, it's even worse. <laughs> oh, goody. You learn to block it out after a while, but at first it's hard. Mm. It's supposed to be worse for those who join during a blight. How is it for you? Nightmares. Yes, I know what you mean. Some people never have much trouble, but that's rare. Oh. Others have trouble sleeping their entire life. Mm. They're just more sensitive, I suppose. Mm. Everyone ends up the same, though. 
Once you reach a certain age, the real nightmares come. Really? That's how a Grey Warden knows his time has come. <laughs> Cheery. His time's come? Oh, that's right. We never had time to tell you that part. No, no, you didn't. Well, in addition to all the other wonderful things about being a Grey Warden, you don't need to worry about dying from old age. Aww. You've got 30 years to live. Really? Take. The taint. It's a death sentence. Mm. Ultimately, your body won't be able to take it. When the time <laughs> comes, most Grey Wardens go to Orzammar and die in battle rather than waiting. It's tradition. Mm. Why Orzammar? You'll always find Darkspawn down where the dwarves are. Yeah, I know. The oldest As I am a dwarf. To the deep roads for one last glorious battle. Not that there's a shortage of Darkspawn during a blight, but that's... Yeah, I get post-blight, yeah. The dwarves respect us for it. Aww. And you wondered yes, we why we kept the joining a secret from the new recruits. Well, there you have it. I never wondered that. I understand. They they need a uh, they need more options here. Cuz she doesn't feel betrayed. She doesn't feel it's wrong. However, there are ways and things that could have been let out. Itura doesn't seem like too high a price to pay. Provided you know what the price is. So, unfortunately, I'm gonna have to go with two, as it feels like it's the best I can hope for right now. I never wondered that. I understand. You know, Duncan... He started having the nightmares again. Aww. He told me that in private. He said it wouldn't be long before he'd go to Orzammar himself. Mm. I guess he got what he wanted. I just wish it had been something worthy of him. He went out like a badass, sir. Which I know is of zero comfort, but... He will be remembered, Alistair. As will the others. I know. Ending the blight should make this all worthwhile, right? Right. Go team, rah rah. And I am saving real quick. At your service. Yes, you are. I have some questions. Of course. What was it like to be a Grey Warden with all the others? I didn't know them for very long. Mm, still longer than me. Longer than you. You never exactly. met them all, did you? <laughs> they were quite a group. Actually, they felt like an extended family Aww. since we were all cut off from our former lives. True. We also laughed more than you think. There was yeah. this one time. Well, you probably don't want to hear stories about men you didn't know. Oh, sweetie, I, I could just listen to you read all day. No, I'd like to hear about them. There was one Grey Warden who came all the way from the Anderfels. You. What was his name? Was it Gregor? Gregor? He was a burly man with the biggest, fuzziest beard yeah. you've ever seen. And the man could drink. He drank all the time, but he never got drunk. Huh, Finally, we all made hour. a pool to see just how many pints it would take to put him under the table. Really? Sounds like you had a lot of fun. Sometimes. We were kin of a sort. Yeah, you were. All of us had gone through the joining, so we knew. Mm -hmm. well, anyhow, it doesn't have to be deadly serious all the time. Exactly. Anyhow, we never did find out. He said he'd drink a pint for every half pint that the rest of us drank. He was still going by the time <laughs> the rest of us were passed out. Aw, sounds I'm awesome. Told that Duncan walked in later on and saw us all passed out from one end of the hall to the other and Gregor still drinking. <laughs> Duncan laughed until he nearly... Oh, until... buddy. I'm sorry, this must be hard for you. Yes, I... I suppose so. Mm. I, I could give I you hugs! Things, it just struck me that I have nothing to remember Duncan by. Nothing oh, you will. There's no body, not even a token of his that I could take with me. That must sound really stupid to you. Not at all. Oh, that's actually one of the options. 
you have your memories of him is also a good one. I should go if you have your memories of him. And trust me, if I if I find stuff, you're getting it. I just would have liked something of his to take with me, that's all. Hmm. Well, there's no use in moaning about it, is there? No, but He's still. Gone. Let's just go. Aw. Oh. He approves. Yay. Senpai is noticing me. I'm wondering something. Really? I'd like to know your thoughts about some of our uh -ho. traveling companions. Do you mind if I ask? Go ahead. Or, <gasps> time for juicy gossip, I take it. I've got this nefarious plan to go around to each of them and secretly tell them all the nasty things you oh. said. That way Say they'll nasty mutiny things. and I shall become the group leader. <laughs> I'd follow you anywhere, darling. Very cute. So, you know, I'm laughing at you, not with you. Ouch, now I'm wounded. Look at me, bleeding all over the place. I know. I You're just not very nice, are you? No. Seriously, though, I'm only curious. I've had enough time to form my own opinions, and I just want to see if yours are any different. Cool. I like opinions. Only if you tell me your opinions as well. Just try and stop me. Okay. Let's see, where should I begin? What about Sten? I like him. The way he looks at me with those eyes. Creepy. Hey, he's looking so at you? Quiet for someone so big. Hmm, I don't know. I respect him. The more I talk to him, the more reasonable he does seem. Yeah. His philosophy is so strange. <laughs> it really is. But it doesn't sound at all as vile as the Chantry. Well, him. it's the Chantry, and yet, so. He great killed assault. all those people. He doesn't even deny it. Doesn't that bother you? He... he seems to regret what he did. Hmm. I'm not so sure that his regret means the same as it would for us. True. The Kunari sense of honor is. It's a bit hard I, to. I, pass. I would say the Kunari are kind of straightforward. For me, anyway. What about Liliana? What about her? Is she crazy? No. Or do you really believe in her vision? I believe she believes in them. Oh, it's actually with the options. It's been a while since I've played this encounter, so... I believe she believes in her visions. That's one way to put it. Yep. I don't know what to make of her. If you look at her when she doesn't see you, she just looks so... so sad. Aww. I almost feel guilty taking her away from her life. It was her choice. Yes, Plus, I you know, know, she would still, still be in Lothering if we didn't, she'd kind of be dead. Morrigan, do you trust her? <laughs> Think about it. Maybe Flemeth sent her with us for some other reason than she said. Oh, 100%, I believe that. What reason could she possibly have to betray us, other than I know the story? Hello? Have you met her? I, I have. think she'd need a reason not to betray us. <laughs> useful to her like she asked me to get her this book and then I did and then she was super happy she laughed and she smiled it was weird well there is that enough I think my curiosity is sated let's get back to it shall yes we? let us get back to it and ew, I inspired constitution yes I am making all the progress with my friends. At your service. Yes, you are. I have some questions. Of course. Tell me about the Grey Wardens and the rabbits. Such as they are. Oh, no more questions. About the Grey Wardens, anyhow. Fair enough. At your service. Oh. I have some questions. Of course. If you were raised in the Chantry, have you never... Never... never what? Had a good pair of shoes? You know what I mean. I'm not sure I do. Have I never seen a basilisk? Ate jellied ham? Have I never licked a lamppost in winter? <laughs> now you're making fun of me. Make fun of you, dear lady. Perish the thought. Well... Tell me, 
Have you ever licked a lamppost in winter? <laughs> I love that line, by the way. <sighs> eh, well, given she's a princess and bloodlines and... It's one of those things where it's hard to say what dwarven culture would say is promiscuous versus not versus the real world, but... Eh. I think Ulrika is, has not. No, I've never licked a lamppost in winter. I just stab people and take their stuff. Good. I hear it's quite painful. I really? remember one I of heard the younger the opposite. initiates did it on a dare once, and there was pointing and laughing. Oh, the humanity. I myself have also never done it. That. Not that I haven't Aww. thought about it, of course, but, you know. <laughs> kind of like three. But, you know, she never had the opportunity or... I was joking. I don't like any of these answers. <laughs> you never had the opportunity. Well, living in the Chantry is <clears throat> not exactly a life for rambunctious boys. They taught me to be a gentleman, Aww. especially in the presence of beautiful women such as yourself. Oh, flatterer. It's not so bad, is it? And I'm going to miss the point. You think I'm beautiful. Of course you are, and you Aww. know it. Well, I'm a princess. You're ravishing, resourceful, and all those other things you probably hurt me for not saying. Yep. I would never hurt you. Nor I, you. Aww. Let us be off then. <laughs> Lest your risque talk make my ears blush. Oh, they're already blushing, sweetie. They are already blushing. <laughs> Here, look Ooh. at this. Do you know what this is? I don't because the camera won't show me. That's a rose and... Oh my god, it's the scene. I picked it in Lothering. Aww. I remember thinking, how could something so beautiful exist in a place with so much despair and Aww. ugliness? I probably should have left it alone, but I can't. No, no you shouldn't. The Darkspawn would come and their taint would just destroy it. So I've had it ever since. Aww, hell. That's a nice sentiment. I thought that I might give it to you, Aww. actually. In a lot of ways, I think the same thing when I look at you. Aww. Thank you, Alistair. That's a lovely thought. I'm glad you like it. I love it. I was just thinking, here I am doing all this complaining, and you haven't exactly been having a good time of it yourself. Nope. You've had none of the good experience of being a Grey Warden since you joined. <laughs> good experience. Not a word of thanks or congratulations. It's all been death and fighting and tragedy. Ah, it's I like home. maybe I could say something. Aww. Tell you what a rare and wonderful thing you are to find Darkness. <laughs> I like three. So, you know, as a dwarf, I don't know human culture very well. Um, are we married now? <laughs> you won't land me that easily, woman. Oh. I know I'm quite the prize you after are. all. No need to start crying on me or anything. No. I guess it was uh, <clears throat> just a stupid impulse. No. I don't it, know. Was no. it the wrong one? It was awesome. We, we pick on each other. That's just how we show love. Maybe not. It's cute. Or, eh, let's be a little bit more clear. No, it wasn't. Thank you, Alistair. I'm glad you like it. I love it. Now, mm. if we could move right on past this awkward, embarrassing stage and get right to the steamy bits, I'd appreciate it. Me too! Sounds good. Off with the armor, then. Ha <laughs> <laughs> Bluff called. Uh, Damn, I am right bluffing. Me. You're so cute when you're bashful, which is very true. I also kind of like how forward, why must it be a bluff? Hmm. Well, I mean, okay, if he's not ready, I really shouldn't force the issue, so. You're so cute when you're bashful. I'll be, <laughs> I'll be standing over here. Until yes, the will. stops. Just to be, uh, 
safe. You know how it is. Uh-huh. I do know how it is. And <laughs> approves best seven. Item received. Aw. Alistair's Rose. A beautiful rose with velvety petals of deep red. This gift is from Alistair. Aww. And I know I still have more to talk to him about, but it's we've been going for a bit, and I think here's a good place to stop the video. So until next, tack like a tailock, hello.